What is Freudenberg? Let's ask Google. What's Freudenberg? According to Wikipedia, the Freudenberg Group is a German family-owned diversified group of companies whose products include housewares and cleaning products, automobile parts, textiles, building materials, and telecommunications. Now, why am I at a grocery store talking about Freudenberg? Well, household cleaning products is a big part of what Freudenberg's all about. And they do a lot more in Michigan. Our uh, presence in Michigan is, uh, is very significant to the group. We, first of all, we have our North American Regional Corporate Center um, in Plymouth. That houses our infrastructure, if you will, legal, tax, treasury, risk management, corporate real estate, those types of colleagues who are available to support all of our businesses in the region. And quite frankly, that's relatively new um, since 2013, and we have continued to expand the competence of our colleagues in that center to help the businesses. Um, right across the, uh, the, the, the parking lot is the um, North American headquarters for our sealing business, Freudenberg Sealing Technologies, and, and that's our largest business in, in the group. Um, we, we talked a little bit earlier about the, um, the growth and expansion of that business, um, and that's their technology center and the center of their sales and marketing, uh, again, for, for the region. So a lot of the innovation that the customers are, are seeking and, and asking for and we're delivering um, you know, starts, starts there in their, in their labs. Uh, out in Howell, um, that's the global headquarters for one of our uh, very interesting uh, Freudenberg chemical specialties businesses, uh, which is called Chemtrend. And they are um, one of the world's leaders, if not the world leader, in release agents and purging compounds for molders of all different types. And imagine, for instance, the, the tire producers in the world, right? Um, you you pre-treat the molds with a, a release agent to allow the tires to come out efficiently. That's just a quick example, but they're in a wide range of industries. Uh, and, and just last year, we expanded their lab uh, capability, adding 10,000 square feet uh, and, and you know, high-end technology uh, in those labs to help them with their development. Well, Bob, talk to me about Viberacoustic. Their North American headquarters are out on the west side uh, in, in South Haven, and that's a really uh, cool facility to go visit because they do all kinds of R&D there and prototype development uh, against a wide range of, of products that go into the automotive OEs, um, you know, jounce bumpers, engine mounts, um, dampeners of all different types and, and, and varieties. Um, and it's, it's a cute town too, not, not bad. Um, I think we have something like 150 to 170, I know that's a little bit of a range, but uh, forgive me for not having it you know, precisely in my head, uh, colleagues there, and they're all uh, you know, highly trained engineering resources, um, you know, a sizable percentage with, with graduate degrees. They also have production capability in a couple of other locations in Michigan, uh, in Sandusky, uh, in, the, in the Thumb area, um, a long-standing, very, uh, very important production facility to, to that group. Um, and, and then they have a 49% um, stake in, in another company on the south, uh, southwest side um, called Dawson. Um, which is a minority business enterprise um, producing for the automotive space as well in the MVH. Well, now the the emphasis uh, and the recent I should say recent the the trend over the last couple of years in uh, larger vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, vehicles that uh, can go places that uh, cars can't. Let's say uh, has really uh, put an emphasis on the kind of products that Vibracoustic is coming out with too. Uh, so that's that's been a real boon, hasn't it? The the larger vehicles. Yeah, the larger vehicles and vehicles with um, that you know a premium vehicle that that's uh, where they're looking for a particularly good ride and comfort, right? Um, and and that's uh, so the adoption of very sophisticated air springs and 
and, and strut systems to, to uh, make that ride as enjoyable and as smooth as possible. For those of us who live in southeast Michigan, um, you know, we, we know that the roads are, are not so great and anything we can do to make that ride uh, a little bit better is, is outstanding. And that product is, uh, all, of, all of the products that Vibra Acoustic offers, you know, um, play into that. But, but those products are, are really uh, coming into, um, you know, uh, the, the vehicle more and more. Higher end premium sedans, but even on some truck lines. Uh, and I think as we move towards autonomous driving, uh, where where we would uh, the experience of the the rider, um, you know, we're, instead of you know uh, managing the car, we might want to be reading or something like that. I think we'll notice that that uh, all those bumps uh, along the way and and anything that um, you know we can do, uh, the suppliers can do to to level out that ride is is certainly going to be welcome. One of the problems that uh, a lot of large companies are facing these days is attracting young people mm. to your business. And w what are you doing for that? Yeah, um, clearly our people uh, are, are are critical. I mean, uh, war war on talent, if you will. You know, we we if we're going to continue to innovate um, and deliver, um, you know, highly innovative products to our to our uh, customers, we need to have you know fresh talent um, and and the t from the technical domain. Um, and so we've done a couple of different things. We, we rebranded ourselves uh, back in, in 05, um, you know, taking a good look internally about who we are and how we operate. Uh, our tagline of, of innovating together speaks not only to the customer and to our, um, our suppliers where we would be, in a, um, you know, innovating with them, but also internally, right, working together. Um, you know, uh, across our different businesses, across our technology platforms. You know, we have a, a strength in material science, if you will, uh, that, that cuts across all these different businesses. And to bring, um, you know, fresh engineering talent, technologists uh, together to, to share their, their skill set, that's an exciting arena for them to play in. We also have brought forward um, a leadership development program or framework, uh, both at the corporate or global level three levels um, there where um, you actually have to be nominated by the management board to participate in these in these programs but as well on a regional level where the particular business that you're going into can nominate you so it addresses all different uh, sort of levels of your progression from a career standpoint adding more to your capability in terms of leadership first focusing on yourself and uh, you know, uh, conflict management and influencing others, but then how to lead an organization of a certain size, and then how to lead a, a larger, et cetera, and then a strategic leadership program at the end of that progression. Um, that type of development uh, it, it is clearly sought by, by the kids coming out of college, right? They want to know that they're going to have an opportunity to grow uh, with the organization. Otherwise, you know, um, they'll, they'll bounce out to the, to the next company that will give them a chance to, to grow and develop. So these are some of the things that we're doing. You're finding the kids are smarter and smarter every year? Oh my gosh, it's amazing, <laughs> right? Um, no doubt about it. I'm, I actually have three, three, ch uh, three children, two in college, and um, when I think back about where I thought I was at their age and, and the information that they have available to them and what they know, about the world and, and their uh, respective disciplines. It's amazing. So, yeah, very talented kids coming out. Well, thanks a lot for your time today. Appreciate Thank you, it. Bob. Yep. <laughs>